One of the main functions of the small intestine is chemical digestion. Remember, that's the breaking of bonds, typically via enzymes, to break down stuff into smaller stuff that can be absorbed by the body, go into the bloodstream. Our goal is to make big things smaller. So what are these things that are chemically digested? Um, and in this video, I'm gonna emphasize the importance of the small intestine, liver, gallbladder, which is what we're focused on still here. So proteins, these are polypeptides made of amino acids. We need to break down proteins into amino acids that can be absorbed by the body. Carbohydrates, These can be small or big, so polysaccharides, glycogen, starch, long chains of sugar. Disaccharides means two, sucrose, lactose, and then monosaccharides, glucose. This is what we want to be able to absorb. And lastly, we will talk a little bit about lipids, so fats, primarily triglycerides is what we take in, fats. There's also other things, so nucleic acids, we actually break down, I'm gonna focus on these three. I'm going to do these two in separate videos, like a walkthrough of digestion and absorption later, um, but we're gonna do them briefly here. I will also talk about lipids more when we talk about the, the liver and gallbladder. But here I want to walk through these um, more broadly. So where does carbohydrate digestion, and one thing, I hope it's obvious, these are essential nutrients for our bodies to function. Um, there's another chapter you can read about that talks more about that kind of um, nutrient focused view. We're going to assume that we need these things. We need to make ATP out of glucose. Um, it's actually pathways, indirect pathways of making ATP from these other components. We need to store energy as fat. We need to make new proteins with amino acids. Um, so that's a whole other topic. We're going to assume we need nutrients. And we, well, we know that. So carbohydrate digestion begins in the mouth. There is something called salivary amylase that I've talked about before in saliva that breaks polysaccharides into disaccharides um, and, and, and trisaccharides. So it breaks down polysaccharides, that first step of digestion, chemical digestion of carbohydrates. If you chew a cracker, you'll notice it starts to taste sweeter and sweeter. There's extra credit related to this. Um, and that's because it's going from st like starch, I think is what's in saltines, um, primarily to disaccharides actually taste sweeter, like sucrose. So carbohydrate digestion, carbohydrate digestion starts in the mouth. But most of it happens in small intestine. I'm gonna put most in small intestine. Come back to that. Okay, proteins, you know this already. There's pepsin in the stomach that breaks down proteins, breaks down polypeptides. It is also going to then most in small intestine. Fats. There's actually a little bit that happens in the mouth as a lingual lipase, but I want to just go here, oops, wrong color, and tell you that most happens in the small intestine. So in the small intestine, what's happening? There are several sources. First, actually, I'm gonna do these two because these two require primarily pancreatic enzymes as well as intestinal enzymes. They're produced by the absorb 
absorptive in pterocytes, but they're, then they're kept on the brush border. I'll show you these in a bit. They're called brush border enzymes because they are, they, they live on the brush border of the enterocytes. Fats, primarily bile from where? The liver. Yep. So all of this is aided by secretions from the liver, pancreas, and the brush border enzymes. Um, so that's where we're gonna we're gonna dive into the liver and pancreas next. We are mostly talking about the duodenum, but um, some chemical digestion does occur beyond that as well. 